sinners of my people shall die by the sword. The sword. The Lord created Esau to be his sword on the planet Earth. They should be a lot of uh, killing instruments for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That it's some, it's some kind of newfound success in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. Who are you to judge? Right. And they'll, they'll quote Tupac. Only, well, only God can judge me. Bro, oh, Jake they, 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 yeah, yeah, but don't keep reading down, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> judge not lest thou, <laughs> judge not lest thou be judged. Yeah. But yeah, stop right there. Yeah, God. Jake think they, they, they the exception to the rule. Like, oh, I'm covered, I'm good. Like, no, we are, hey, we are going to follow this law. It's 2 Peter 2 and 9. It says, <coughs> the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. The godly. The men, all right, the men and the women, who does, who does what the Lord says, you know? After the mind of Yahweh Shai, man. That's the Lord's people, man. That's God. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. That's right. That's why all these plagues are coming to the planet Earth. All right? It's for the punishment for the sinners. Mm. Like, like I just said, the Lord is long suffering, but that, that goes two ways, man. The Lord is long suffering for his elect, you know, which is mercy. The Lord is also long suffering for those who are not trying to get right. Oh, that's the, uh, yeah, because he's only just, uh, he's being long suffering for the sake of preserving. Mm -hmm. yeah. You preserve something, that means like, you won't, I'm going to just let it slide, I'm going to let it slide, I'm going to give him some time. And then, just get, get your ass yeah. when you least expect it. The Lord is preserving this kind of too cold because. The Lord is preserving his elect, the remnant, and he's also preserving two-thirds of the judgment. You know? Yeah, the major judgment that's going to happen in uh, the, second, the second death. You might grab that in uh, 2 Peter 3. I had a precept real quick to uh, back up with uh, Abraham. Uh, about uh, this is Hosea 5 and 10. The princes of Judah were like them that removed the bound thereof, Therefore, excuse me, I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Ooh, wrath like upon, you know, upon them like water. They the flood. You know? Flood this time is going to be the martial law. Mm -hmm. Alright? And there's going to be hundreds of thousands of martial law troops that's going to invade your hoods. Mm -hmm. Hey, we were just watching yesterday how they train these these Gurkha troops. Mm -hmm. Right? America under speech. <laughs> These yeah. UN peacekeeping troops, they they do anything but keep peace. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when they get sent to a place, they get sent with a mission. Right. You know? To kill. Let's believe they're gonna have the latest technology. Yeah. Right? The latest tech drones, ro robotic dogs, robots. Mm -hmm. Hey, they'll come in like a flood on you niggas, man. Peace, peace through the sword. You niggas gonna be doing the same <laughs> shit. Hanging out on the corner, drinking, doing drugs, you know. Hey, we're gonna get caught under the space. That's what we out here warning you about. 
better get right before the Lord puts your ass to death. All right, by one of these plays, man. Yeah. So Rock 40, verse 8. I'll start at 8. Yeah, it says, Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Mm. Mm. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the blood. Mm -hmm. That's it. Famine. And I talk about the famine, man. That's why you see eggs, eight, nine dollars. That's just that's just a little that's just one item. Wait, wait till the Lord actually uh, uh, collapse this dollar. Then you're going to want to write the question. Let's see how many niggas want to get the bag in. Go to college you know, What's the objective of going to college? To get a, a so-called good job, right? Good career. Right? But these companies ain't going to be paying you the, 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 the rate of how high inflation is going to be. These companies are replacing a lot of these jakes with robots. Where, where the robots can work faster, more efficient, you don't gotta pay them, they don't take no breaks. All you need is one, one engineer, probably two on staff, to you know check on the robots periodically. They already got uh, 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 robots running the goddamn uh, McDonald's in Texas. So, so all these little jobs that Jake used to, you know, they can always go get a job at McDonald's, I can work here. That shit about to be canceled. All these little tell, all you, the nigga woman always got a telecommunication job. Yeah. And they got robots for that shit. Customer service. Yeah. There's gonna be uh, robots that are attorneys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> hey, pretty soon judges. Yeah. I thought I, I thought I, I don't yeah. know if it was, I thought I shared an a, a mm -hmm. article, I think sometime this week, where it's going into how a lot of, a lot of people's jobs are gonna be replaced with uh, robots. And they've, and they've been saying that. Hey, and that's the majority of you women, you, you work jobs that that uh, that a robot can take over. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see desk jobs and shit like that. Yeah. It's, all it's more women in the workforce, really, now. The women are the ones that's going, trying to go to college and get the education. Y'all y'all ask about the real price, too. Yeah, what's, the, what's the average salary, maybe? Maybe you're like 20, 30 bucks an hour. You know, I'm just, I'm just being, you know, that's the high end. Mm -hmm. But wait till hyperinflation hit, man. The job maybe give you one, two percent raise. But hyperinflation, you go into the store one day, say the eggs are right now eight dollars, right? You go get some eggs. Hyperinflation. The next week you go into the store, them eggs is eighteen dollars. Yeah. The week after that, it's twenty five dollars. The week after that, it's fifty eight dollars. Mm -hmm. so we get that's hyperinflation. Your job man, ain't gonna be able to keep up. Okay. The government is not gonna be able to keep up. You know? So that's gonna kill your faith in, in this dollar bill that you niggas worship. You know? And that, that's gonna be a glorious time, man. That's when a lot of pride gonna be, uh, you know, uh, destroyed out of these people. You ain't gotta fall down. The bag, the bag. Nah, it ain't gonna be no bag, man, this time. You know, that bag ain't worth shit now. Now, what you gotta say? You know? Anybody got something? Oh, okay. I got Ezekiel 7, 28, I think. 7, 28. Oh, I think this was a. Article, uh, article dealing with it, but it's not the same article that I posted. But dealing with uh, robots replacing the human workforce. It says, uh, "Will robots replace the human workforce?" It said, "By 2027, Lord willing, we are here. Right. The market value for robotic process automation is anticipated to grow to 11 billion dollars. Mm. With bots carrying out a lot of daily tasks and activities nowadays." probably comes as no surprise to you. Numerous sectors including finance, healthcare, legal, retail, manufacturing, utility, and aviation, aviation are continuously embracing RPA technology to boost productivity, cut costs, increase convenience, reduce task monotony, drive scalability in meeting 
be evolving demands of customers. Yeah, that's a whole lot of industry. Yeah. That's, that's thousands and thousands of workers, man. Who runs the industry? Esau. Same nigga, same nigga that you guys love so much. He's the one that's taking these jobs from you. And I read a report this week that a lot of tech jobs are being replaced, or not necessarily necessarily being replaced, but uh, they're laying off like 200,000 people in these tech jobs, whether it be Google, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft. So you already know it's going to replace them. AI. Well, they don't need you people. Okay. Uh, he said it's out of point in this kingdom where. He doesn't need the majority of the masses anymore. He's building his uh his, 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 his technocracy, okay. which is based off AI technology. Okay. So now to the majority of people to have new machines. that World War III also because he knows that, well, he thinks that through that he's going to uh, get rid of most of the population and then he's going to come back and exactly, you know, rise out of the ashes and continue to rule forever. That's, his, that's what are his thoughts. Yeah. And, and where do our people, the majority of our people fit in that system? They don't. He has no use for you anymore. Yeah, I'll keep a couple of you from here, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, as far as this place continuing and, and things going back to how they used to be, the golden age, you know, that's over. That's over. This, this, the future for America is, it's, it doesn't look good. This is a world with robot, robotic judges. Robotic strippers, <laughs> robotic police officers, robotic waiters and waitresses, model, model service, uh, robotic uh, priests, robotic rappers, robotic rabbis. Seriously, robotic warehouse workers. That's real shit. So over in China, they have literally. A robot that goes, you know how they have these big warehouses, they got a robot that goes to the shelf, takes the shit off the shelf, yeah. and brings it over to the conveyor belt. So, self-driving uh, forklifts. Self-driving. Uh, you know, everything is self-driving nowadays. Everything is, is AI brand. Okay. Every, you know, that, that's, the world, that's the world that they're trying to bring. That's why you need the prophets to measure the time diligently. You know, through the prophecies of the Holy Bible to come out and warn our people. You know, our people are not set up for Esau's, you know, future you know, yeah. that, that he wants to uh, bring about. All this technology, robots, and all that AI. You, you niggas don't fit in that. Man. So he has to get rid of you, man. Yeah. You know? a, a nigga will sit there and try to figure out how do I fit into this. Like you said, you